probably try creating an AI movie. But between the broken workflows, crappy tools, and mismatched models, you still haven't gotten anything that looks good. But after testing six different tools and wasting 53 hours trying to piece things together, I finally found a better way. And now I can create AI movies just like this one. without bouncing between 10 different tools or spending days on confusing setups. So in this video, you'll learn how to go from a raw idea to a professional looking AI film step by step and how to use a single tool to generate every single asset without burning hours in trial and error or hitting a dead end. So here's how we're actually gonna do this. First, we'll take your movie idea and turn it into a series of detailed scene descriptions. Then. We'll use those scenes to generate in-depth image prompts. We'll create the images, convert them into videos, and by the end, you'll have every single asset ready to be made into a complete AI film. And the tool we'll be using to generate all the parts of the movie is called OpenArt. If you want to follow along with me step by step, just click the link down in the description and sign up with my link. Let's get into it. And so to start off and create a good AI film, we obviously need a strong idea and a solid scene by scene description of the movie. And the way we're going to do that is with this AI prompt right here. You'll find it down in the description. Just copy it, paste it into your chat GPT window. The only part that matters is where it says user input. That's where you can just ramble. Whatever ideas you've got, just dump them in. The AI will take it from there and organize everything into a clean, structured movie layout. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll write something like a lighthearted documentary about a man who claims he's lived off nothing but bananas for seven years. He's a bit odd, but kind of a local legend. I'll write that in, hit enter, and there we go. Now I've got a full scene by scene breakdown of the movie. Of course, you can edit any part of it, swap scenes, add more, but this gives us a great structure to start from and makes it way easier to create all the assets we'll need later in the process. But to actually turn them into something usable and something we can generate visuals from, we're gonna use another AI prompt. You'll find this one in the description too. All you have to do is copy it into ChatGPT, and you don't even need to type anything new. Just take one of the scenes from your breakdown, like scene number one, and paste it where it says user input. So for this example, I'm gonna grab scene one from my list, paste it in, hit enter, and here's what we get. First, it gives us a cinematic starting frame description, basically a detailed setup for how the scene should look visually. Then right below that, we get our final image prompt, and that's the one you want to save. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process for each scene in my breakdown. And once I've got all my prompts ready, I'll show you what to do next. Now that all my prompts are generated, we're ready to move on to the next step. We're going to start with the first prompt, and this is where open art comes into play. So if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're logged in, this is what your dashboard will look like. On the left side, you'll see an option that says generate image. Go ahead and click that. Now you'll land on the image generation workflow. I'll quickly walk you through everything you need to know to use it properly. Starting on the left, you'll see custom settings. These are basically presets for specific image styles. I'm not gonna use any for this tutorial. I'm just gonna keep it simple with the default settings, but feel free to explore them if you need a very specific aesthetic. Next up is the model or character section. By default, OpenArt utilizes the flux context model, which is great for general use. But if you wanna switch it up, just click the switch button and you'll get access to the full AI model gallery. You'll see a huge range of models here, everything from ultra realistic photo styles to cartoonish, fantasy, even coloring book type. There's something for every style imaginable. Now, since I'm creating a documentary style film, I want something that looks realistic. So I'm gonna select Flux Context Pro, which is perfect for this kind of look. Once I click that, I'll be taken back to the workflow. From here, you'll wanna grab the prompt you got earlier from ChatGPT. For me, I'm starting with scene one, so I'll copy that prompt and paste it right into the input box here. You'll also see a new option pop up called Auto Enhance. And like I always say, always turn this on. What this does is automatically improves your prompt and makes it more detailed, more specific, and just overall better suited for generating the exact image you want. Open art basically polishes it for you behind the scenes. Next, for output size, I'm going with 16 by nine widescreen since that fits a documentary format best. And that's it for the settings. I recommend generating a few versions. I usually go with four images, so you have some options to choose from. Once that's all set, just click create, and let's see what we get. Now, looking at the images that got generated, this is actually a good example of why I chose to go with four versions. Out of all of them, I really only like the first one. The 
others just don't match the vision I had in mind. So let's quickly take a look through them. Yeah, the first image really nails it. The rest feel a bit off. So I'll go ahead and click the star icon on that first image to mark it as a favorite. That way, when I go back to my image gallery, I can just filter it by starred images. Makes it way easier to find all the ones I like later when we're putting everything together. Now from here, you just repeat the same process for every single scene in your film. If you haven't generated all the prompts yet, go back to ChatGPT, plug in the scene descriptions again, and keep working through them. I've already got my prompts ready, so I'll go back, grab the next scene's image prompt, generate that one, and just keep repeating the process until I've got all my image assets ready to go. Once I've finished that, I'll come back and show you everything I've got. As you can see, they're looking really solid. By the way, if you want to know how I was able to generate totally different images but with the same character, check this video right here. It's linked in the description just below the link to OpenArt. Every single image captures the vibe we're going for, and it already feels like the foundation of a proper documentary style movie, but we're not done yet. Now, we need to actually start turning these into video assets, and here's exactly how we're going to do that. You'll first want to select the image you want to animate. For me, I'm starting with the image from my first scene. Once it's open, just head to the top right corner of the image and click Image to Video. That'll send you into a new tab inside OpenArt's video generator. Now, in the top left corner, you'll see an option labeled Select Model. Click the dropdown, and here you'll find a bunch of different video models, each one optimized for a different use case. Let me break down a few of them. Cdance is probably the best overall model for realistic animation. Kling 2.1 is also a strong option, very balanced, and works well for many scenarios. Then Pixverse is great for high quality photorealistic videos, especially if you want strong detail and style. And then you've got things like Hilo Live, which is better suited for 2D illustrations and more stylized outputs. You can find a model for nearly anything you're trying to accomplish. For this example, I'm gonna go with Cdance, just because it fits the documentary style really well. And now that we've got our image and model locked in, it's time to generate a prompt that matches our scene and brings it to life. And we're going to use ChatGPT to do exactly that. Let me show you how. So this is the final prompt we're going to use. And it works basically the same way as all the other prompts we've used so far. The only difference is that this time, we're also going to include the exact image we generated for this scene. Here's how you do it. Once you've got the prompt, go ahead and paste it into ChatGPT just like before. Then click the little plus button next to the chat box and hit add photos and files. Upload the image you just generated for your scene. After that, scroll up in your chat GPT chat, find a scene description that matches this image, and copy it. You'll paste that right into the prompt where it says, Hey scene this image belongs to. From there, ChatGPT will generate a cinematic video prompt perfectly tailored for image to video generation. This is the prompt ChatGPT gave me. I'm gonna use this to generate the video. When it comes to generating the actual videos, here's what you'll need to do. I take the prompt I just got from ChatGPT and paste it right back into OpenArt. My image is already loaded in. Now, settings will vary a bit depending on the model you're using, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through each model I recommend so you can see the differences live and pick the one that fits your style. For Cdance, which is my go-to for realistic generations, I'm going to set quality mode to pro, then duration to five seconds, and resolution to 1080p. Then I hit create and let's take a look. Honestly, this turned out exactly how I pictured it. The quality is on point, the motion is clean. Cdance is a good model. Definitely one I recommend using if you want a more lifelike cinematic feel. And with that, our movie is really starting to take shape. Now, let's move on to scene two. Back in open art, I can click the little trash can to clear the old image. But in this case, I'm just gonna drag and drop my next scene's image directly into the tab. Here it is, my guy standing inside his banana vault. This time, let's try a different model. I click select model, and for this one, I'm going with Pixverse. It's great for producing more expressive visuals with a touch of exaggeration or stylization depending on your needs. Once it loads, I adjust the settings. Duration to five seconds and resolution stays at 1080p, and then I grab my new prompt from ChatGPT and paste it in, then click create. Once it's done generating, let's check it out. Visually, it looks awesome. You can clearly tell the difference between Pixverse and Cdance, but this is still a solid, clean result. So now I'm just going to keep generating and walking you through what I get. This way, you'll get a clearer feel for how each model inside OpenArt behaves and what kind of style each one produces. For scene three, I'm dragging and dropping in my next image. This time, I'm using Kling 2.1. Same as before, I paste in my prompt. For duration, I'm keeping it at five seconds, and for quality mode, I'm selecting master 
because that's how you really get the best out of Kling. Then I hit create and let's see the result. Right away, you'll notice Kling has a slightly more drawn feel, but still stays fairly realistic. It's a unique aesthetic, and compared to the first two models, it's definitely distinct. So if that stylized edge is what you're going for, Kling's a good option to keep in mind. Now for scene 4, I'm going with Hilo Standard. This one's still cinematic and realistic, but what sets it apart is its dramatic lighting and texture richness. If your scene relies on mood or strong visual style, this might be the right model to choose. I don't tweak any of the settings here since Hilo Standard has fewer customization options. I just paste in the prompt and hit create. Looking at the result, the quality is definitely a little different from the earlier one. It's not the sharpest or most polished, but it has a distinctive style that might suit you if you're going for a more artistic vibe. Now let's finish strong with scene 5, and we're bringing it back to sea dance. This time I'm setting the duration to 10 seconds, just so you can get a feel for how it handles longer scenes. I paste in my image again, drop in the prompt, click create, and let's take a look. The video looks solid, but you'll notice that it feels a little drawn out. That's something to keep in mind. The longer your scene is, the more processing power it requires, which can occasionally reduce the overall quality. So if you've got a complex scene, then yes, give it more time, but also balance it because too long might stretch the detail thin. And that's it for the video generation part. Now let's move on and put all of these scenes together into one finished sequence. So to finally stitch everything together, here's what you want to do. First, download each of your videos. It's super simple. Just hover over your video and you'll see the download button pop up to the side. Click that and the video downloads instantly. Once you've downloaded everything, open up your editing software of choice. For me, I'm using CapCut. I just open it up, start a new project, and then drag and drop every single one of my scenes into the timeline. From there, I just put them in the right order, hit export, and that's it. The full movie is created. Let's take a final look. Watching it back, you can clearly see how different models perform in different environments. It's actually really fun to spot the little quirks and strengths of each one. Some models are better, some are quicker, and some give sharper quality. At the end of the day, it all comes down to what you need, whether that's speed, realism, or something a bit more stylized. And hopefully, you're starting to get a feel for how to use all of it to your advantage. And so now, you actually know how to create full AI movies from just a single idea, all the way to a fully done video. And with open art, it's all in one place from generating characters, scenes, and animations, simple, fast, and you're fully in control the whole way through. So if you want to start creating AI films just like this one, go ahead and sign up to OpenArt using the link down in the description.